Hi students, coming to the next topic that is theta notation. So this is one of the asymptotic notation. So let us see what is a theta notation. So here we have chosen first, we choose f of n and g of n. These are the two functions as two differentiable functions. Let us take these two differentiable functions and say that they have same growth rate. So whatever the functions you have taken here, uh, those f of n, g of n is having the same growth rate. Okay. So if a condition should be there, if it follows the limit, n tends to infinity f of n by g of n is equal to c. So, here the c should be in the range of between 0 to infinity. So, formally we stated this theta notation as formally stated as f of n is equal to theta of g of n. So, this is just a definition of theta notation. Now, let us see what is uh, this theta notation, how it will calculate it by using the graphical method. So, let us take this graph. So, this is a time and this is the n. Here, n is nothing but the size we have taken, the size of the input for that function. So, whenever the uh, function is increasing, the time complexity, time is also increased. Okay, the growth rate is also increased. So, whatever the function, uh, the statements that you are adding to that functions, uh, the time is increasing, uh, size of the input is increasing and the time is also increasing. Okay. So, let us take uh, this, uh, the theta notation here is C1 G of N less than or equal to F of N less than or equal to C2 G of N. So, I said this fn and gn has two differentiable functions. So, fn and gn are two differentiable functions and they have follow the same growth rate. Same growth rate means they should be less than or equal to this, uh, uh, this constants means it follows the lower bound as well as the upper bound. The function will be present between the lower bound and upper bound. A equality relationship is there. So, theta is nothing but it is an equality equality relation is present in theta notation okay so this is a formula i had explained in the previous video i uh, just given a formula this is the equality and it represents for a theta notation so here we have taken suppose this is a c c2 g of n and here c1 g of n okay now i have taken the function this is a f of n function. Okay. So, here you have taken this as n naught. n naught is equal to n1 here. So, here this completely you call it as this is a lower bounded. And this is upper bounded. And this is upper bounded. So, it follows the equality relationship between this. This f of n is exist in between these two functions okay and here c1 or c1 g of n is less than or equal to f of n is less than or equal to c2 g of n and here c1 c2 is always greater than 0 so why it is greater than 0 these are the constant functions so that uh, the constant that we are taking that should always greater than 0 and n is greater than or equal to n naught okay because the input is increasing the size of the input, the size of the function is increasing. So, n is always greater than n naught. And n naught is always greater than or equal to 1. Why it is always greater than or equal to 1? Because n naught is the starting input we are giving to the program function. So, the input should be always, it should be uh, at least 1, not uh, always. It The program has to give the input, starting should be 1. So, n naught is always greater than or equal to 1 means at least 1 should be there. For n naught at least 1 should be there. Means you are giving a simple 
first input is a 1 next 2 like that so n0 is greater than or equal to 1 so these are the conditions you have to follow whenever you are representing the theta notation okay let me take one simple example for this theta notation let us take f of n is equal to 3n plus 2 and g of n is equal to n okay so what is the formula actually c1 g of n less than or equal to f of n less than or equal to c2 of g of n okay so first we take this will be divided into two two part so first f of n less than or equal to c2 g of n this is one condition okay this is one condition f of n is less than or equal to c2 of g of n and the next condition is this that is f of n is greater than or equal to c1 g of n okay now take f of n is 3n plus 2 less than or equal to c2 i am taking 4 and g of n is n why i am taking 4 because c2 is upper bounded the c2 is present in upper bounded upper bounded you, you just you take the c2 value as a 4 means c1 is i'll take if this is a lower bound c1 is 1 so 1 2 3 like this it is increasing the c1 is increasing from here to here so it will be uh, in the time is increasing here so that's why i am taking c2 as just assume c2 as 4 but it should be greater than the lower bounded upper bound is always greater than the lower bounded so here the c1 is 1 and c2 is 4 i am taking so 3n plus 2 is less than or equal to 4n so and here n n0 is greater than or equal to 1 so always n0 is greater than or equal to 1 so obviously 3n plus 2 is always less than or equal to 4n suppose if you take n is some value okay so any value if you are taken uh, n so that should be uh, less than or equal to 3n plus 2 in the same way here f of n is 3n plus 2 greater than or equal to n because here c1 is 1 why it is 1 it is lower bound here c1 is 4 because it is upper bound it is present in upper bound c2 c2 is 4 because it is upper bound so this 3n plus 2 is less than or equal to 4n and here 3n plus 2 is greater than or equal to n so this is how you have to be calculated this should these conditions is satisfied so this is a theta notation so in the next video i explain about the big o notation thank you